want to sing this song? How to reach the masses, need a very bird for an answer, Jesus gave the key. Speak it up.
next selection, Hold On, led by Sister Elaine Barfield. Amen. Right. You got to hold on yeah. now. Yeah. Amen. In times like these. Yeah. The Bible says there's going to be a great falling away from the church. Yeah. You don't want to be in that crowd. Amen. They, they'll be lost for those who leave the church. Hang in there with the Lord. Hold on.
Jesus Ely. Now, this is one of my favorite songs. I used to love to hear her sister sing this song. Late sister Ina, she used to sing that song. Now, her sister's taking up the drum. All right, sing good, though. There is yeah. a name yeah. I love to hear. Oh, say that, say that. I love yes. to sing his praise. Yes. 
There's something about that name, yes. Something about that name, yes. It's who?
she is come before him to anoint my body to the very the subject this morning she had done what she could she has done what she could you may be seated when you have gone as the old folks used to say your last mile when you don't know what to do this is when you call on Jesus he promised that he would ask thank you Lord why is this would say, why is this such a striking story of this woman anointing Jesus while he was sitting with his disciples? Why, why is all right, this all right. such a striking story this morning? All right. There are three theological reasons that I would like to bring out this morning for our understanding. Firstly, firstly, there is an interjection of uncalled for emotions that were uh, insensitive provocative, or let's just say carnally minded. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. People just don't understand sometimes why you go to church. All right. All right. And they will make insensitive, sometimes argumentative statements yeah. 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 to get you riled up. Now the second reason, second theological reason, we see great respect, mm -hmm. humility, honor, and love on the part of this woman who uh, esteemed and regarded Jesus yes. very high yes, yes. in her heart. And the third, third reason, theological reason, we hear the Lord Jesus Christ vindicating her and putting her in a place of history yeah. mm -hmm. and eternity for her acts that will be spoken about from now on. Yes. Yes. You see, the Lord don't forget what you do for him. Amen. Firstly, first, let me go back to this. Yeah. Let's begin with the scene where Jesus and his disciples were, were in the city of Bethany eating at Simon the leper's house. Yeah. And seemingly out of nowhere, this uh, incident of this woman coming forth with an alabaster box very expensive breaking and breaking the seal and began pouring the very expensive ointment on the head of Jesus all right apparently this was out of seemingly character for a woman to anoint a man and, and, and it took Jesus' disciples by surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. When people are led by yeah. the Spirit of the Lord, it takes people by surprise. Yeah. 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 But you don't worry about that. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't back down either. No. No. The surprise was not this, uh, this woman with this 
alabaster box, anointing Jesus, in pouring this expensive oil over his holy head, uh -huh. the surprise and anger took place because they felt that it was a waste for this expensive oil to be poured on Jesus' hand. Right. Right. Isn't that something? Instead of praising her for doing such an honorable act mm -hmm. in anointing the prophet like unto Moses, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. instead of uh, praising her in anointing the offspring of Israel's greatest king, King David, right. instead of praising her for anointing the priestly king like unto Melchizedek, uh -huh. right. they all with a carnal mind in anger uh -huh. condemned her for anointing Jesus. Right. Right. Isn't that something? Now here, they're walking with Christ. Yeah. They are seeing the mighty miracles, yeah. seeing him feed four and five thousand respectively, right. seeing him heal the sick and right. raise the dead, right. and they get angry right. for a great act uh -huh. yeah. of being anointed by this woman, yeah. saying that this was a, a waste. Uh -huh. Whatever you do for Christ is never a waste. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you do for the church is never a waste. Yeah. They, they, they condemned her because they believed that the very expensive oil could have been uh, sold at a very high price, 300 pence, mm -hmm. and the money could have uh, been given to the poor. Apparently, Peter himself, uh -huh. the spokesperson, yeah. was there, mm -hmm. who was revealed to be, to buy, to, uh, he re was revealed to him that uh, uh, the Heavenly Father had called Jesus to be the Christ. Uh -huh. But Peter said nothing, but was along with the disciples of being angered. Because what they believed that she was doing was a waste. They were so insensitive to the fact that they could not spiritually see that what you do for Jesus yeah, right. is never a waste. Yeah. Amen. All, right. All, right. All what you do for the Lord Jesus, uh, the master, there will always follow blessings. Yeah. They were so insensitive to what they were saying as we look from the outside on their actions, it becomes laughable. Mm -hmm. But is not this us? No. No. Is this us when we say I'm tired and I don't want to go to church? Is it us? When we drag in the church house bed, instead of going there saying, I'm going into the house of prayer where I can feel the Holy Spirit. I want to get myself together. Where I can open up my heart to feel what I need. I need to hear from the Lord. And we drag as if it's a waste. Is it a waste to come into the house of prayer? No, no. no, no. 
I remember as I foretold you some years passed with my mother and those old saints after working on that, they called it the man, old man, the man's job. Yeah. <laughs> Six days and they come in the house of prayer with a smile on their face, yeah. dressed all in white. They ready for church yeah. because they came looking for a blessing. What do you come for now when you come to church? Right. Do you look for a blessing? Yeah, because right. the blessings are here. Yeah. Yeah. It's never a waste right. to be in the house of prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Where the spirit of the Lord dwells. The Lord is blessing us, St. John. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And we become angry because... We want God to bless us the way we want to be blessed. Lord, if you don't answer prayer A, answer my prayer B. Lord, if you don't answer my prayer C, answer my prayer D. God don't need any of our prayers. All we need to do is have faith in him that he will hear and answer our prayer. Let him work it out. Isn't, isn't that us? Yeah. We become angry when people, uh, we think about how much we grumble sometimes when we pay our tithes and offerings. Mm -hmm. When the Lord has already said, I'll open you up the windows of heaven, yeah, right. heaven, and pour you out a blessing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait a minute, let me go back. Open you up the windows of heaven. Windows. Yeah. Windows of heaven. Windows of heaven. Yeah. You're not hearing what I'm saying. Windows of heaven and pull you out a blessing yeah. that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Yeah. I got closets full of shoes right now. I promise myself, I'm not going to get all these many shoes here. I ain't got many shoes again. Got closets of, uh, of suits. Here I got one. God just can continue to bless. But why do we grumble? When it comes to those outside of the church you, know, you give too much. You give all that money to the church and there they are gambling. They run scratching them things. They run the Reno. Putting them one on bad, putting their money in those one on bandits. But yet they say you give too much money. They go to Reno mostly, lose four and five and sometimes a thousand dollars. They may win one hundred dollars and lose a thousand. But yet you give too much to the Lord's house. You can't lose by giving your tithes and offerings. You can't lose by praising God. Amen. Some may say when praises go up, blessings come down. That is a fact. We want the Lord to do it our way and not his way. It becomes laughable. It becomes laughable when we we want God to do to come down to our level. It becomes laughable. Yes, we, we want we want to be in control of our destiny instead of allow him to control us. When in actuality, we cannot control what we are doing right now Amen. if it wasn't for his power. Yes. Right about it. We wouldn't be able to think right if it wasn't for God allowing us. Amen. It is so laughable when we want to be so in charge and judgmental about what goes on in our life yes, yes. until we squeeze out the Holy Spirit and his guidance for our life. Right. We want God to guide. He, we want a God. It's strange. We want it psychologically to be in control. Are you listening? Amen. 
to the point where we want God to follow us instead of us following God. Right. Oh, somebody was praying after they had done something, and they said, God bless it for us, son. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we want to be guided by God. We want to be so we can come out right. Amen. We've been going by our plan so long, we always come out wrong. Right. That's true. It becomes laughable. It becomes laughable. Then we become, we become angry because we feel God is not answering our prayers. We become angry because God is not doing it our way. Well, one thing about it, we know your way and my way is not right. Yeah. There's only one way, yeah, and that's God's way. Yeah, we always use the excuse, I'll just, uh, I'm just human. Well, God knows that too. Yeah, As the disciples think or thought through the carnal mind, the human side of us, like the disciples, will always be uh, impatient, uh, irritable, rebellious, and in opposite of the Lord's will when we don't follow by faith. Right. <laughs> they were looking at this woman who was doing a great act. But in their own carnal mind, uh -huh. in their own carnal mind, they wanted to bless Jesus in their All carnal right. way. All All right. Right. It is laughable when we think that we know more than God yes. in our situation. Yes. God, you know, if you just do this for me. And then when God does it, it's okay, God, thank you. I'm going now. Do we leave God when He bless us? All right. Have mercy. Help us today. Hold on. Hold on. When we do not walk by faith, we walk by sight. We will always see. Actions like this woman as a waste. The world, listen, the world sees the church going to church as a waste. If they didn't think it was a waste, they'd be here. This house would be full. Where are the so called church members that now are lined up on Zoom? They've gotten lazy. Yes, when the Bible says, forgetting not to assemble yourselves together, yes. this is where the power is. Yes, when we assemble together, prayers yes. are answered. Yes, Don't you know some have been sitting in the church and listening to the word of God and was healed? Yes. I remember coming out the pulpit and Sister Audrey, you met me over there? With your son Zachary. Yes, he had a staple in his hand. Yes, sir. Is that right? Amen. And uh, she said she, the doctor wanted to have a little miniature operation on that. Was that, is that yes. correct? Have procedure. procedure. Yes. What did I say? You said no, let it come out. It'll come out in a couple of days by itself. Did I say that? Yes. What happened? It came out in a couple of days by itself. By faith. Yes. She listened by faith. Yes. Suppose it would have cut on it. At the wrong time. Suppose, I'm just saying, I'm not saying doctors are wrong, but I'm just saying by faith. Amen. It was a blessing for them to be in the house of prayer to be, so that I could tell them Amen. by the guidance of the Holy Spirit that it would come out. Amen. So many things by faith. What about when the late sister Bantry uh, told me about that little boy who was sick. The doctors had given him up. Yeah. Pray for him. Yeah. By faith, 
He was healed. It's not a waste to be in the house of prayer. It's not a waste to have fellowship. It's not a waste to sing God's praises. It's not a waste to stand on God's doors. It's not a waste. It's a blessing. sees the church tithing and giving offerings to the church, to the house of God as a waste. The church sees tithing and offerings as a waste. The world sees the church uh, reading and studying their Bible as a waste. The world sees the church walking and talking after the matter of Jesus as a waste. But there will always be results that will follow to prove that the world is always wrong. I'm not going to say sometimes wrong. The world is always wrong when it fights against God's church. The world is always wrong when it talks against giving tithes and offerings. Yeah. The world is always wrong yeah. when it talks about going to church too much. Yeah. You can never go to church too much. Yeah. That's just like saying God is blessing you too much. Mm. How many don't want God's blessings? You got to be out of your mind. Right. Even the world want to breathe. Right. It comes from God. Yeah. Even the world want to eat food. Right. It comes from God. They love the rain and they love the sunshine. It comes from God. I don't think they do lie on the beach. It still comes from God. What do we deem more important than Jesus? Is our boyfriend or girlfriend, husband or wife, job, school, Jewelry or automobile, life itself, more of money or bank accounts, more than Jesus. We hear that words of Jesus ringing out in the gospel book of St. Matthew in the 16th chapter and the 26th verse saying, for what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and what lose his soul? Or what in exchange can he give for his soul? You can't give the world for the saving of your soul. It took Jesus Christ to die on the cross it took Jesus Christ to wear those thorny thorns on his head, blood dripping down. It took Jesus Christ to be nailed with those spike nails in his head and feet. It took Jesus Christ to be whipped, the skin torn and blood dripping down, carrying his cross. Okay, that was our cross. For us, Galgotha, to be crucified. Nothing is a waste. When it comes to Jesus, because he died for us. But the greatest thing, God raised him from the dead. On the very day for our justification. Nothing is a waste when it comes to doing uh, things for Jesus. If it's just picking up a piece of paper in God's house, you will receive a blessing. Whatever you're doing in God's house, yeah. you better believe you're going to receive blessing. Yeah. But, but, but you got to have a, a good heart. Yeah. That means you got to have faith in him. Yeah. Just coming to church won't save you. Yeah. You must be born again. Yeah. Yeah. Born of the water and of the yeah. spirit. Yeah. 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 Therefore, the alabaster box of this precious ointment of this precious oil was not a 
waste. But the act was so valuable. Uh, what she gave was like the wise men that brought the gifts. Do you understand? Jesus deserves our best. That's what she was given from her heart. When you come and give Jesus Whatever you give, the, man, the, the singing, your amens, yes. give it from your heart. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You'll be blessed. Yes. You'll be blessed on your job. Yes. You'll be blessed in your home. Yes. You'll be blessed while you walk in the street. Yes. You'll be blessed while you're driving. Yes. Just when the car's about to hit you, God will guide you. young ruler thought it was a waste to sell his riches and give it to the poor and uh, take up his cross and follow Jesus. He thought it was a waste. He thought it was a loss to give his temporary Riches up for eternal blessings. That's what so many are caught in between now. They feel that their home and their job and their money, the bank account, uh, is, is more valuable than salvation. All right. All right. Don't you know God will give you more than what you got? Yeah. Don't you know you can, when you come to Jesus, you'll get something that the world can't give you? And I know what. He, the world can't give you peace. The world can't answer your prayers. I don't care how long you've been boogie jugging it with your friend at the club. It ain't gonna work out, honey. Because that Negro gonna be gone. All right. All right. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, he will never leave you. Being a friend and let him be your friend. Yeah. He'll always be there. Yeah. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Right. Because he, according to his actions, proved that his earthly riches, talking about the rich young, young ruler, yeah. which uh, are merely temporary riches, were more valuable to his soul than earth, than eternal life. He lost his soul. Now that's eternity. He couldn't take not one penny with him. So many now are counting up their pennies right now. And when you don't pay your tithes and offerings, you can't make ends meet. Just, the Bible says it's like having holes, bags with holes in it. You, you can't make the next payday. This isn't something, when you spend God's tithe and offering, that's why America's going through so much now. Because they're spending God, the Christians are spending God's tithe. Those who believe in Christ, supposed to, they're taking their money on trips now. They, they spend it at the store instead of paying God's tithe and offering. And we look around and say, oh, is, is things going worse? Yeah, it's going to get more worse. When you go against God, it's going to get worse in the world. Right. Men shall cry for peace, but there will be what? No, no peace. Amen. Because when you leave God, you don't have peace. No. The value, the value that he put on his riches, so many now are putting value on their house and on their husband and wife and their children until they're losing their soul. Right. Put it in the hands of the Lord. Amen. Sell out to him. Amen. Sell all that you have that you think is valuable. And give it. Give your life to Jesus. Right. You know, the late Deacon Bulma told a story one time. He was taking up the offering. And uh, they said a little boy ran up and jumped into the basket. And the 
they asked the little boy, why you jump in the basket? He said, I gave all I had. Yeah. Uh -huh. When you give all you have, yeah. it starts in the heart. Yeah. What does your heart say? Uh -huh. What does your heart say about the Lord? Do you honor him to the right. point where he has answered your prayers? He's keeping you? Right. Just keep right. living. Right. If, you have, if you haven't had any experience, just keep living. And call on it. Amen. I'm closing. I'm closing. I challenge you this day. What more can you give that is very precious to you than your soul to Jesus? Yes. Secondly, the lesson that we theologically see from this woman's action is humility. Mm -hmm. yeah. We see the highest honor which Jesus reveals by saying that she had done mm -hmm. what she could. Yeah. Yeah. Has the Lord spoken that about your life? Mm -hmm. right. Right. Have you given all you could to the Lord? Right. Have you go to the top of the mountain or are you just holding back? Oh, are you trying to measure your blessings? Well, I gave my tax yesterday so I'm looking for First National Bank tomorrow. It don't work that way. No, it doesn't. We see the highest respect and last but not the least. We see love in action. For the Savior of the world. Amen. She anointed Jesus yes. for his burial. Yes. It is common sense that nobody in their right mind, mm -hmm. referring to our natural mind, would take very valuable oil uh -huh. and anoint somebody who we do not really respect no honor or like to say the least about love. We will not waste our time, money, and energy to perform such an act such as what this woman did to Jesus. This woman's action revealed a supernatural movement in our heart yes, by the Holy Spirit of faith, yes. hope, and charity yes. to show that she really honors and respects Jesus. Right. What are we doing now in our life All right. All right. to show that we, I'm just not talking about by ourselves, but what about showing it to others? She didn't care what the disciples were saying. She didn't care about being in Simon's house. We select our uh, praise and honor to the Lord when sometimes you're among your enemies. What about in your house where they're talking against you? Do you honor Jesus? Let them say it's a waste that you go to church. Let them say it's a waste that you give your tithes and offerings. Just give it anyway. Yes. Because you love Jesus in your heart. Amen. Yes. She exemplifies a faith that said with her actions that Jesus was special to her. Yes. Anytime a man, woman, a man can heal the sick, raise the dead. Are you listening? Amen. Give sight to the blind, feed four and five thousand men respectively, besides the women and the children, with two fishes and five loaves of bread. Yeah. He's somebody yes. 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 to be anointed. Yes. He's somebody who cast out demons yes. to be anointed. He's somebody who loved the world to be born of a woman. He's king of kings and lord of lords. 
He's somebody to be anointed. Yeah. How do we anoint Jesus this morning? By giving him the praise. Yeah. Praise in his holy name. Yeah. I will bless the Lord at all times. Yeah. His praise. Yeah. Instead of looking at me, you should be praising God yeah. for what he's done for you. Yeah. He brought you when you couldn't bring yourself. Yeah. He's enough to say amen. Yeah. amen. Praise him. Is in this place. Yeah. Yes. Praise. Yes. Praise. Thank you, God. No man can do what Jesus can do for you. Amen. Jesus is special. Amen. When he cast out the demons, Jesus is special. He brought me out of my sin. Amen. He gives me power to overcome. Amen. Jesus is special. Amen. This is why I say thank you, Jesus. Yes. And I don't mind thanking him before you. Jesus is special. Amen. He's special in my home. Amen. He was special on my job. Yes. He's special while I'm driving or riding down the highway. He's special when I'm walking through the house. He's special when I'm in my office. He's just special. He's worthy to be praised. Jesus. He is the I am. That I am. Jesus is special. This woman's actions uh, ex uh, express that no anointing, uh, no uh, ointment is greater than Jesus. Amen. As I close this message, thirdly, Jesus has always uh, reciprocated faith. Yeah. He's always reciprocated love. Yeah. And he's always reciprocated respect. Yeah. Hebrews, the 11th chapter, verse 6 says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder. Is that right? Of them that diligently seek him. The Bible says, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he's near. Oh, he's a blessing. David yeah. says, oh, taste and see yeah. that the Lord is good. Yeah. Have you ever tasted the Lord? Yeah. Let me tell you, too. He's not a waste. No. He's good to the soul. Yeah. He's not a waste. No. He's a heart fixer. Yeah. Jesus is not a waste. No. To call upon him when you're hurting yeah. physically, he'll heal your body. Yeah. He brought us out of the hospital. Yeah. He brought us from our sick bed. Yeah. Jesus is not a waste no. to call upon him when you when you need him. Yes. Have you called on him? Yes. Has he come to your rescue? Yes. Just even he's on the highway. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's in the air. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's on the ground. Yes, he is. You walk on the water. Yeah. Jesus is not a waste. No, not. Yeah, through the troubles, storms that I have, the trials and tribulations, I've called on him, yeah. and he heard my prayer. Yes. And he came to my rescue. Yeah. He opened up doors yeah. that was closed in my face. Yeah. He's not a waste. Yeah. To call on him. Yeah. God bless you, children. Stay with the Lord. Call on it in the morning. Call on it at the noonday hour. Call on it at the midnight hour. He'll come. Yes, he will. Don't put time on it. He'll come. Yes, he will. He'll come and rescue you. Yeah, he'll rescue your troubled mind. He'll give you peace in the time of the truth. He'll come, he'll come. 
Ain't no troublesome. Ain't no troublesome worries. He'll come. Call on him. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the bird turned my heart away. The Lord, it was there by faith. I received my sight, and now I am happy. Oh, Let it hold you. Let it hold you. All right, son. 